Hello and good day everyone! We are from Group 4 and we will be sharing the topic of environmental auditing. There are three parts of videos to this topic. In part 1, we will be learning about the introduction, scope, normative references, and finally, the terms and definition of environmental auditing. Let's begin! In this video, we will share about environmental auditing. First is Introduction of Environmental Auditing Do you know what is environmental auditing? Environmental auditing is an environmental management tool for measuring the effects of certain activities on the environment against the set of criteria or standards. Environmental auditing is also a valuable instrument to verify and improve environmental performance. Next, what are the purpose of environmental auditing? First, environmental auditing act as a tool to help industry become environmental responsible and to demonstrate this responsibility to the government and public. Second, to reduce and minimize the adverse effects of human activities on the environment. Third, to provide productivity and cost gains at the same time as protecting the environment. And lastly, is to help achieve the sustainable development objectives of the country. Let's look into the history of environmental auditing. In 1970s, the development of acts relating to environmental issues was slowly picking up pace, which was causing increasing concern to firms, which were largely the only opposition to such acts. In 1981, there was increasing awareness of environmental issues politically, which led to the professional auditing team to discuss about environmental auditing. In 1983, this was the first time in which environmental auditing had been discussed by an accountancy team and firms were already begin to implement it. In 1986, Environmental Protection Agency published an official policy report regarding environmental auditing. In 1990s, Development of legislation regarding environmental concerns and companies began to introduce more sophisticated environmental auditing system. In 2020, EPA has introduced a scheme in which companies can audit their own practices. There has been a rise in the amount of self-auditing which is occurring among companies. Next, what does ISO 19011 accomplish? First, defining program objectives. There are two objectives, which are to make audit arrangements and to assign roles and responsibilities. Second, to complete the audits needed, which is to plan and review internal documents and also collecting and verifying audit evidence. Third, to review the results and process, which is to access the result and trends, and also to confirming with audit program procedures. Now, we will move on to the scope of environmental auditing. There are four scopes of environmental auditing. First, as a guidance on the competence and evaluation of auditors. Second, providing guidance on the principle of the principle of auditing, managing audit program. Third, applicable to the organization, the need to conduct external and internal audit or environmental management system. And fourth, to conduct quality management system audits and environmental management system audit. Now, let's look into the normative references in environmental auditing. First is ISO 9000-2000, which is quality management system that focuses in fundamentals and vocabulary. Second is ISO 14050-2002, that focuses on environmental management. For ISO 9000-2000, it is adopted in 1987 by International Organization for Standardization. It used as rules, guidelines, or definition of characteristics. It also to ensure materials, products, processes, and services are fit for their purpose. Meanwhile, for ISO 14050-2002, it was published in the ISO 14000 family of international standards. It helps an organization to understand the term used in ISO 14000 series standard. Next, we will move to terms and definition in environmental auditing. So, what is an audit? An audit is a regime in the financial sector. 
methods and practices for analysis, tests and confirmations with the purpose of ensuring that they comply with legal requirements, corporate policies and established practices. Now, what is an environmental audit? An environmental audit is a systematic, documented, predict, and objective process in assessing an organization's activities and services in relation to assessing compliance with relevant statutory and internal requirements. There are three types of environmental audit. First is the compliance audit, a review performed to ascertain an enterprise's adherence to regulatory guidelines. Second is management audit, an analysis and assessment of the competencies and capabilities of a company's management in carrying out corporate objectives. Third is functional audit, examines if a service instance that has been deployed is operational. Next, what is site audit? It is an audit of particular site to examine actual or potential environmental problems. Activity specific audit is look at the performance of a company in a specific issue area like carbon emission or waste reduction. And product audit is analysis of environmental impact of product throughout all stages include use and recycle. The International Organization for Standardization ISO is international non-governmental organization form of delegates from numerous national standards organizations that creates and publish a wide range of proprietary, industrial and commercial standards. Next, what is an audit scope? Audit scope is an audit extent and boundaries. Audit plan is a description of activities and arrangements of an audit. Auditor is a person with competence to conduct an audit. Audit team is an independent function in an organization that helps management achieve its objectives. And lastly, auditor's liability is the legal liability that is assumed when the auditor is performing professional duties. Now, let's look into recap of part 1. First, the purpose of environmental auditing. It is used to minimize the adverse effects of human activities, provide productivity, and achieve the sustainable development. Second, the normative references are covered on ISO 9000-2000 and ISO 14050-2002. Third, accomplishment of environmental auditing is to defining program objective, to completing the audits needed, and to reviewing the result and processes. For the first question, environmental auditing is an environmental management tool for measuring the effects of certain activities on the environment against set criteria or standards. A. True B. False The answer is A. True For second question, there are three types of environmental audit except for A. Compliance audit B. Functional audit C. Financial Audit and D. Management Audit The answer is C. Financial Audit Third question is One of the environmental auditing purposes is to reducing and minimize the adverse effects of human activities on the environment A. True B. False the answer is A. True. So, that's all for part 1. I hope you can get more knowledge about environmental auditing in this video. Don't forget to look up next video. Thank you for watching. Bye!